welcome, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching a very special show. So let me begin this show with a question. Is Google monopolistic? Is it abusing its ad tech dominance across the world? Well, a bevy of cases against the big tech giants seem to be suggesting so. So let's then start with what's happening in the United Kingdom. Well, a UK competition oversight group has provisionally found that the Sir Giant is guilty of using its online platform dominance to restrict advertising competition for other UK publishers and advertisers. This finding by the Competition and Markets Authority, or CMA, which is a non-ministerial department in the United Kingdom government, it oversees business activities and flags potentially unfair competition. Now, this could foreshadow a ruling against Google or even further regulatory, bring in regulatory trouble for the tech giant in future. Let me also quote what the CMA said. It says, and I quote, We've provisionally found that Google is using its market power to hinder competition when it comes to the ads that people see on its websites. It also says, and I once again quote CMA, that Google is manipulating its unique position in the online advertising space to prioritize its own business interests over competitors. But that's just what is happening in the UK. In another case, Europe's top uh, uh, court has ruled Google to pay £2.4 pounds, billion pounds fine for using its price comparison shopping service to gain an unfair advantage over smaller European rivals. And let's now head over to the United States and what's happening there. Well, just a month after a judge declared Google's search engine an illegal monopoly, the tech joint now faces another antitrust lawsuit that threatens to break up the company and this time over its advertising technology. But what is Google saying so far as these cases are concerned? So Google's response in the UK case is, and I quote, Google remains committed to creating value for uh, its publishers and advertiser partners in this highly competitive sector. The core of this case rests on flawed interpretations of the ad tech sector, unquote. So that was Google's response. But with regulatory heat building up on Google, the big question then is, how serious are these charges that are being made all across the globe, quite literally against Google? And how can the alleged monopoly and anti competitive practices by big techs be halted if that is the case and of course joining us to discuss this further we have a stellar lineup of our guests this evening well Murugaval Janki Raman the CEO and founder of Bharat Matrimony Pavan Dugal uh, senior cyber lawyer uh, will also be joining us we are also joined by Virag Gupta a cyber law expert thank you very much gentlemen in fact uh, we are now joined by Mr. Dugal as well thank you very much gentlemen for joining us this evening to discuss this very very crucial case let me come to to you, Mr. Dugal, and how would you really agree with what the UK watchdog is saying about Google and how it does its business? Well, clearly, the winds of change are blowing. Clearly, in the life post COVID 19, uh, players have to understand that digital monopolies will not be permanent. And that being so, there's growing kind of a microscopic scrutiny by stakeholders, specifically regulators, globally against uh, big monopolies. And that's the reason why when I look at noises coming from different jurisdictions, it's very clear that uh, the jurisdictions want to look at uh, establishing a level playing field, which is clearly not established at the current moment. Well, uh, Google is entitled to make its arguments, but the fact still remains is it's one of the most dominant players. And one of the key things that stakeholders, specifically regulators, want to ensure is that this dominant position ought not to be misused so as to go ahead and minimize the chances of business survival for opponents and therefore living level playing field has to be the utmost necessity whether it's the american uh, judge's uh, decision against google last month whether it's a complaint against google before the competition commission of india last month and whether it's now the uh, the finding the uh, interim finding of the uk watchdog i think everywhere when there's so much of noise happening the time has come where the big dominant players need to realize that, okay, let's understand our dominant position, but let's also not be seen to be in, uh, impediments in the creation of a level playing field. They can use their dominance in other positions, but if it's being used for locking out competition, then that will be a no-no from the perspective of regulators, more so in this new age post-COVID-19, when the new cyber world order has arrived and where there's going to be increasingly less kind of tolerance to this dominant power. But of course, uh, all things have, have been said, Google is entitled to take up 
its legal uh, kind of arguments, and they will have to be adjudicated by different courts in different jurisdictions. But when so many jurisdictions are after you, there has to be something wrong. There has to be some kind of uh, issues which will have to be addressed by Google as it goes forward. Absolutely. And very pertinent point, Mr. Dugal, that you've made about digital monopolies uh, that uh, that really have been created over the past few years, over the past few decades that we've seen. Let me go across to Mr. Janki Raman, sir. Uh, let me also get in your thoughts because we've seen a similar case play out in India about a couple of months back wherein startups like yourself, smaller companies like yourselves, of course, were entangled with Google because you thought that the, the practices that the big tech joint was following were anti-competitive and this was particularly related to the Play Store. So give us a give us a sense of what that case really was and how our companies like yourselves are really being impacted by how Google is doing its business, although Google has dismissed the allegations of, uh, you know, its anti-competitive behavior and that it's monopolistic. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, in India, the internet access is mainly through the apps and major app downloads are happening through Google Play Store. And uh, today, the companies use various payment gateway. The charges are vary from, say, zero percent on UPI to 1.5 percentage for credit cards. Since most of the apps are today downloaded through Google uh, apps, the Google try to uh, leverage their monopoly reach in the app store by imposing that unfair practice of that companies or digital services company should use Google billing payment system and pay 30% commission compared to 0% to 1.5%. Imagine the companies are already spending close to 30 to 50% of, of the revenue on Google marketing, mainly on the Play Store. On top of it, you know, Google forcing company to use a Google billing payment system. We went to CCI and CCI two years ago told the Google billing payment system, it's abusing of monopoly, they levied a penalty of 900 plus crore. So Google across the world, you know, going through this, you know, the, the from the courts and various forums that, you know, clearly, you know, they are told that they are abusing the monopoly. India, the, one of the issues about that Google building issue, which is going to significantly impact uh, the startup because startup cannot pay 30% of the revenue to Google, apart from already spending to, you know, 30 to 50% of the revenue on the Google marketing. So CC is one thing. And, uh, you know, two years ago or one and a half years ago, uh, then Google even removed some of the apps saying that you are not complying the Google billing policy. That today it is at various fronts. So our our view is that uh, you no, know, it's a government or the regulator bodies should take this abusive uh, monopoly of Google seriously and come up the quick remedial actions. While the, across the world, everybody clearly telling that Google is abusing the monopoly. One of the challenges is that the, neither the governments or the regulator bodies are not acting fast enough to prevent this uh, Google monopoly behavior. It is very, very important. Again, not only one thing is about the Google billing issue. There are other issues also the companies are facing across the world. Even the Indian companies are also facing issues, including the Google marketing. That's uh, what the recent uh, UK where they are abusing that monopoly on that uh, on the publishing or not giving the fair share of revenue to the publisher. So the multiple fronts Google is abusing the monopoly. So it's affecting the startups. So uh, the government and regulator body should take a serious view of this abusive monopoly and uh, give a quick and uh, remedial action. And of course, uh, sir, I do remember that uh, Google decided to reinstate, uh, you know, the startups as far as this billing issue was concerned. Of course, Google had a different side to the story and startups had a different side to the story. And of course, this matter, as you rightly pointed out, was also brought to the notice of the union IT minister as well. So that intervention came from the IT minister himself. Uh, let me come to you, Mr. Virag Gupta, and thank you very much for patiently waiting it out. You know, the kind of, uh, you know, observations that uh, have really come in so far as as uh, the UK regulator is concerned, several, several allegations have been made. The fact that you know it is using its dominance in sector to prefer, prefer its own services, it's manipulating advertiser bids so that they have a higher value, keeping rivals at a disadvantage. It's abused its position through operation of both buying tool and publisher, uh, you know, ad exchanges, and of course, it's harming competition in the market. That that being, uh, you know, the, the biggest charge of uh, them all. Like I said, it was also a charge that was uh, that it was facing. 
uh, from startup uh, from the startup community as well now in light of the allegations that have been made by the uh, uk um, uh, you know competitor body anti competition body and of course the kind of observations that are coming in from doj in the united states as well and of course uh, from the european union what will these rulings or these observations how much of a bearing will these have on Google? Remember, because it's been facing a multitude of antitrust cases across the world. As soon as you have missed that, really aware that proceedings are going on against the Google for and Google and other tech companies for uh, this media revenue sharing. Now we have to see the problem uh, ten years back. Going on against Google and other tech companies before Delhi High Court in came the Milda Car matter. And then it was demonstrated that how the Google, which is claiming to be intermediary as per the IT Act, and, and monopolizing the whole economy. And now after 10 years, we are seeing that they are in the payment gateway, Google app, um, a default search and AI, everything. Now, from Indian perspective, global perspective, we have to see this problem from three aspects. The first aspect is how many companies of Meta are operating in India, how many startups they are funding, and how many uh, public policy platforms are funded by the meta. So by uh, joining all the dots, we can understand their monopoly in India, that is the one aspect. Now, second aspect is how we are regulating these companies in India. So yesterday news was there that digital competition will draft a circle period of 41 days and uh, it is likely to be passed next year. <clears throat> when we are passing a Parajita-like bill in 24 hours, but not able to pass the digital competition bill. And still we are not sure which department and ministry will be the regulator of this, uh, this bill, whether MCA will be there or the METI will be there. So we don't have any law, we don't have any regulator, and we don't understand the complications. Now, how this is, impact, this is impacting Indian democracy and elections? It is impacting Indian uh, economy. It is in, impacting a startup ecosystem. And the biggest thing is, Google is saying, as per the U.S. Uh, incident, we have seen that they Thank have King, Mr. Gupta, that's a very Apple valid point. Apple. They have paid a huge amount to Apple and uh, Samsung. Now, in so that amount, very valid how much point much that you're making. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let me let me get in. Let me get in, Mr. Dugal over here. They're, these are all very these are all very valid points that you're making, sir. On the economy point, we'll come to that a little bit later. And of course, the kind of laws that we have in India, whether those are sufficient, we'll come to all of those points a little later on the show. But let's first address the basics, uh, uh, Mr. Dugal. When we speak of unfair competition, also help us understand the scale at which these big techs are dominating. Given that you know they have the first, they've had the first movers at advantage uh, and and the fact that they're solely based on digital platforms isn't that justified then when they when they had the first movers advantage also part two of my question is help us understand the economic impact of these activities that these big techs are taking up well it's logical that if you're a first mover you should take the benefit and that's why most of these big monopolies are doing so but ultimately it's here that uh, in the post covid era we are beginning to see that state government, uh, national governments are jumping in, are telling us, hey guys, we want you to follow the uh, competition laws. We want you to make sure that there's a level playing field. And the reason for this is that because of your dominant position, other smaller players are being deprived of their legitimate uh, business earnings that they ought to have. And it's causing a huge economic impact upon uh, the other competition as well. And that's the reason why this increased scrutiny has started happening across the world. It's happened in India as well. CCI did an earlier investigation into Google, but ultimately it's going to be some time before the dominant players start realizing that uh, digital monopolies are not permanent and the quicker they change to uh, the changes of uh, the times that are happening, the better it will be. Well, they can fight the litigations in courts of law, but that's not going to prevent countries from imposing the effective implementation of their anti-competition laws per se. So I think it will be a mixed approach that will have to come in, but the quicker and a more balanced uh, response the big monopolies adopt to these changed down realities, the better it will be for them because while they have been first movers, this first mover advantage can be leveraged by them in a lot of other ways. But if they are able to show to the governments that, look, we are taking everybody along by having a level playing field, then that's going to ensure 
that the national governments don't come up with more legislation and more regulation. So it will be interesting to see how the big dominant players respond to these challenges rather than coming up with legal arguments. Yes. Yes, so Mr. Dugal, you are essentially saying that we don't need more regulation. Also on, the, on that point, I mean, I have to say that India already has an IT Act. India already has a competition law as well. And this is something that, you know, one side of the industry has been stating that we do not need more laws. We do not need more regulation. Instead, we need sort of a balanced approach so far as regulation is concerned. Do you want to weigh in on that uh, argument, Mr. Janki Raman? Uh, no, I don't agree that existing laws are good enough to fight against the big tech. No, I think we are a, one a good example. We have been fighting against Google for more than a decade. In the case filed in 2012, it's still not find the, the uh, ultimate uh, end objective. So in spite of that, you know, 2012, CCA given a penalty against Google for abusing their search dominance. So still is pending with the NCLT. Even that was the recent Google building issue, Though the CCA given the verdict uh, two years ago, still is it's still is pending at the NCLT. So the existing laws are not good enough to address the big tech. That's the reason the government has come up with the, the, the new digital competition bill. It's very, very important. Even the countries like Europe, did they realize that existing laws are not good enough to address the digital monopolies. They in Europe, you know that they launched a digital marketing act. It's very much important to bring the digital mark competition law in India. That's the only way we can dream because today the way the CCA works is ex post. When the incidents happen, look, it takes years before it's you know come to the final conclusion. You know, till the time today the companies cannot able to withstand the 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 strong the reach and power of these big techs. So only way this can be controlled is through ex ante. That's what the digital competition bill talks about. It has become a law. But one of the requests from the startups is that instead of the keeping the threshold at 4,000 crore, increase the threshold so that similar to what Digital Marketing Act in Europe done, so that only the big techs can be covered under the digital competition law. Digital competition are very much required. That's the only way you can rein that the big tech. Apart from that, a couple of other sites as well. Because today, so much are reliant on Google India for the apps. Today, as I said, internet access no more free. It's happened through apps, it's through Google. In fact, our suggestion is that can you come up with the create a Bharat app store similar to what government has done for UPA so that we are not controlled or relying on Google for the apps download. If it become an independent thing, like similar to UPA, so that then apps can be downloaded freely, not uh, from the Google app store, because it, it, it can happen similar to what Google had done. One of the other release, a lot of the popular apps, they removed even Paytm also in the past. I think those are things should not uh, depend on Google for our apps download. It yes. becomes a independent things, the government able to do something on that one, that'd be very much useful because remember, the internet is not open anymore. It's happening through Google, it is happening through Play Store, which is 95% of the internet access through the Google Play Store, that is through apps. It's a very, very serious issue. Like there are a lot of other issues as well. Today, at this point, the biggest issue is that, okay. that big Google billing okay. issue. Okay. 30%, okay. where is 0%, where is 30 percentage, which is clear abuse of monopoly. And yes, and and yes Mr. Janki Raman, that is one of the many issues that has been raised so far as these big tech companies are concerned. Let me, let me bring in Mr. Virag Gupta on that point. And in fact, let's discuss AI because, you know, that is the latest development so far as the tech world is concerned. And of course, uh, you know, that is uh, looking at uh, changing industries completely. Now, Google also has an AI overviews uh, feature that was launched in May this year. In fact, AI overviews really give you, give uh, users a consolidated response whenever you type in the search results and hence this ruling comes in at a very very critical time very important time when AI is set to change industries and many say that this feature could undermine publishing industries as well and uh, uh, you know that that is one detriment of uh, this AI overviews give us a sense of the kind of impact that it could have on publishing uh, uh, on the publishing industry Mr. Gupta. Uh, Sumita, I fully agree with Mr. Janki Raman and <laughs> I humbly disagree with Mr. Dugal. We don't have enough uh, legal system to uh, regulate uh, tech giants like the Google. <clears throat> now, we have yet to pass the uh, data protection rules. That's why data protection act is yet not been fully operational. We don't have any law related to AI. Now, to understand any illness or disease, we need to have the MRI. We'll come to the point about laws. We'll come to the point about laws, sir. But if you could also answer my question on uh, AI overviews. Mr. Gupta, if you could respond to my no, question on AI overviews and how that is no, uh, that is going to impact the publishing industry. No, regarding AI, my, uh, uh, my understanding is 
that it will impact the media industry because number one, it is based on the uh, wrong facts. It is paid. They are they are making a, a atmosphere of the paid media, and we have to understand that how much payment is being made and how this media industry is impacted by the AI. Now we don't have any their revenue officers in India. We don't have any permanent establishment of these companies in India, and we don't know how much payment is made by those companies who are trying to impact. Whether this is by default or this is a paid whole system ecosystem which is being made and which may be impacting the Indian economy as well as the democratic setup also, as we have seen from the U.S. election. So only two things I will say. Number one, each company of the Google India, Google Meta company. Has to find and disclose the details of the one of the so that we can understand how big their structure in India is. And secondly, whatever Google Meta is getting payment for this AI-related thing, we need to uh, ask them to pay the proportionate GST in India so that we should not lose the taxation aspect. And third thing is that this whole system is AI is based on the unauthorized un un uses of the data. And we have yet to enforce the data protection law. We have yet to recover a big tax, uh, uh, this uh, penalty from these companies. So I think that we have yet to start uh, regulating these tax times uh, from the AI and all aspects which have been discussed. Eastern Union, USA, and Australia, and all these countries. Yes, in fact. Uh... Yes, in fact, uh, Mr. Gupta, that's what the government is looking at, working on maintaining a fair balance between innovation and regulation. So far as AI is concerned, it is also said to be considering bringing in uh, some changes uh, to the existing IT Act or perhaps build, build bringing in a new act to altogether, uh, you know, work on this side, this aspect of AI, of uh, tech. Uh, but Mr. Janki Raman, then the big question is, how can these monopolistic tendencies be broken? Because these are cases which are not just happening in India, which are not just happening in the European Union, in the UK, in the United States. In fact, Japan also, there is a case going on so far as Google's monopolistic, alleged monopolistic tendencies are concerned. Um, you know, in 2023, EU regulators said that Google may have to sell part of its ad tech business to address its concerns about it. So, so then the big question really is, is breaking up of big tech companies, is that the answer then? Or, or is that, um, uh, you know, not not really an option considering you know breaking up of uh, companies is uh, pretty complicated it's not it's happened many times in the us bt at and t bt microsoft i think definitely uh, i'm of strong opinion that you know the google need to be broken into multiple companies i think otherwise they're too powerful to to control and so definitely it has to be done so if it's happened, that definitely good for ecosystem. In fact, good for innovation. In fact, look at the Google argument. Many times they say very, very consistent. They say it affect innovation, affect the companies. No, it's it's other way around. In fact, breaking Google will help the company to thrive. It create ecosystem. It create level playing level playing field. It create many companies in various ecosystem. It's good for the industry. Good for ecosystem. Good for startup. Good for the world. Because as you rightly said, it's not one country. Europe, South Africa, Japan, US, India. And you, many countries across the world, in many front, they consistently coming out is that Google abusing dominance in various front, be it Android, be it uh, you know, ad tech, be it uh, you know, Google billing. So it's important Google become too big, and it's a time that you know regulate across the world, uh, it's, you know work towards taking various measures, whether passing that strict regulatory measures like you know passing some laws similar to what Europe has done, breaking Google into uh, that US has to do it. So if this happened, definitely good for. Uh, the various countries, good for startup, good for government, and good for everybody. So you are stating that breaking up of big tech giants might be good for everybody, but we'll have to wait and watch what the regulators really say and what is going to be the next step so far as these cases in India are, are concerned, in India, in uh, the European Union, in UK, and of course, Japan, and very importantly, the United States. You know, what is the next big step that the US government uh, takes so far as the hegemony, the alleged hegemony of these big techs is concerned? In fact, that is an interesting story that is going to play out over the next couple of months, and we'll have to see the kind of 
of an impact it is going to have on smaller companies like yourselves. On that note, thank you very much, Mr. Virag Gupta and Mr. Murugaval Janki Raman for joining us this evening and discussing this very, very crucial and important story that impacts everybody in the ecosystem. At least the outcome of it impacts everybody in the ecosystem. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, that's it from us on uh, this special coverage. And uh, time's now, uh, time's up uh, for us to wrap up this edition. Uh, and uh, of course, we hope that you'll stay tuned to ET Now. We have lots more coming up on the other side. Do don't go anywhere and stay tuned to ET Now.